Yo, what up? Lonely Man's podcast. Uh, back once again. I don't know where Ben is. Uh, Holly's at some work thing. Paul Cyphers is here, dude. Now presented in 3D. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! They've and, got 3D uh, now. Wearing green pants that are going to look really cool against our green screen today is our guest, Doug Allen. Whoa! Whoa! Nice Adidas, dude. Thanks, man. I have the same one, like the same kind of look, um, but black. Two pairs. This. I have the black one too. The purple is really <laughs> Those nice. Those some white sambas, I'm going to kick them off now. Purple's a royal yeah. color. The uh, color of royals. I believe that that's the, the colorway's name of is this on the website. Royal? Royal blue. What is colorway? I thought those were purple. You, colorways. You're are a sneakerhead? Like, I used to be. Damn, you have that's big. S- strong sneakerhead vibes. I, I feel like such a tool saying colorway, but you kind of have to. I don't know what else. You, yeah. The different design. Yeah, the design, the color. I thought a, I thought sneakerhead was a different w- way of saying foot job. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I, thought a, you were gonna, <laughs> I thought you were going to say the different word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, uh, I was a big uh, weaker head, if you know what I mean, <laughs> when I was yeah. a kid. Well, you were a, we- you were a Uyghur? I was, you were, a, I was a Uyghur. You were, you were I, was a I was a weaker head. You were a Chinese a Muslim Uyghur? I've been uh, in internment camps for weeks. Damn. Yeah. You kind of have a look. You, you looked. You look like you've gained like your healthy amount. Like not like you gained weight in a bad way. You look like you gained a little weight healthily. I have gone uh, through a terrible health ride since I got down in Austin. Well, let's dude. break it down. You just dude. brought over two loves of bread and, <laughs> and ate most <laughs> of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey guys, I brought this for you. And then sat down and you're like, ate a whole loaf it, immediately. You same watch, dip. same wrist. Damn, you guys. Same wrist, good. actually, dude. The hairline yeah. stops. With this the is line. why I hang out with Doug when Paul's not around. <laughs> Doug is. Like, like That's it. Ever since I shaved my head, it was too weird. <laughs> yeah, you went from my haircut to Paul's haircut too. <laughs> it looks like I just look like different. I'm gonna show up in blackface next week and be like, "Oh, Ben's not here." <laughs> he does look like a combination of both of us into one person right now. A little, yeah, like yeah a more dude. powerful version of us too. Yeah, right. someone someone should make a meme where like our heads it's like anamorph anamorph into you. <laughs> yeah, I hate being a generic looking white guy. Because I've got that a million times. I like it. You stay very low key. No one can really spot you out in the crowd in Austin. I've got an incredible amount of pussy by just looking like a white guy that girls aren't embarrassed to be seen with. I see Uh, a lot of different versions of Paul Cyphers around Austin all the time. Yeah. Like I saw a Paul Cyphers with uh, nice sneakers yesterday. But otherwise, he was wearing (laughs) Nice sneaker Paul. (laughs) It was nice sneaker Paul. (laughs) It was like Uh cool Converse Paul. So many people come to me like, dude, every time I see you, your like look is like changing. I'm like, uh, yeah, because I'm a human being and I'm trying to express myself. Constantly evolving. We're like, we're trying to do the or only. Or you're gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dress one way and do that for three years, dude. <laughs> Figure it out. We're, we're doing the only like creative art, like being in a band or being a comedian is like the two things where you can just look like a fool and and, um, and then actually still get pussy. The only acceptable one, and you can, well, it's, you dyed your hair. Yeah. But uh, like band members, they can dye your hair. Like comedians. You just grow a mustache. That's your like. Oh, I'm wacky, or yeah. a mullet. <laughs> mullet, and then you start going to AA and you shave your mustache. You can let the beard go like super crazy. Become that guy. Become the captain. Yeah, I've been to I'm two AA to meetings. Guy. I've been to two of them. How have those been going for you? No, I found out that no matter where you go in the country, no matter what state in the intercontinental or the continental 48 states, you will find a guy from Boston in an AA meeting. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what that is. I fucking, I escaped the city. I got down here. (laughs) I had to fucking get out because I knew all my fucking heroin dealers numbers by name. Fucking (laughs) by hot, by hot, by hot, (laughs) by hot kid. So I had to fucking get out of that kid. Was this? Was this a different Boston guy, not the one that took you to There's the like meeting? There's like seven people from Boston at <laughs> the AA meeting I went to. It sucks because... Uh, They're all reformed white supremacists and former alcoholics. This is probably what every a- a- addict thinks, but I went to these two meetings and I had this whole feeling where I was like, oh, you guys have it way worse than I do. I don't Dude, have this. That's what I've heard. That's the main reason that I want to go to AA because that's been the main review that I hear. Oh, yeah. You get there and you're like, oh, no, dude, I'm, I'm not an alcoholic, actually. I wouldn't suck cock for a Miller Lite. You know what I, mean? like, I went to a 12-step program for porn addiction, and I, but I went to a sex addiction meeting because like, it's all kind of lumped into one thing. Fun. 
it's, it's kind of cool. But I'm like, oh, at least I'm not a pedophile. I didn't rape anybody. I didn't cheat on my wife and ruin my family. You're supposed uh, to be I'm like, not gay. <laughs> see, that's the thing. I wouldn't be able to go to AA or Sex Anonymous or anything. I, ju- I judge way too much, man. Yeah. Like, uh, everybody sitting there, I'd be like just staring at them. Like, Are you fucking... They'd be crying, telling like life stories. I'm like, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to reveal any of the stories that I heard because I think that's bad form. I think you're not supposed to, but, but I, I, I think not. it's also bad form for podcasting to bring up a topic and not say it. So let them roll. <laughs> I will say that I I have a weakness in my heart for like the uh, the vulnerable gazelle of a group when it comes to women. Yeah. And every girl at AAA. <laughs> every girl you're at AAA. You're a predator? Dude. Yeah. He is. He's just, he's 13 <laughs> step and he's a predator. Every girl at AA, it's like... I. If I put in the least amount of work, I could, even if she's married, I could ruin this marriage. I could, they're all just like barely holding on by hey, I found what you said in there really interesting. And, uh, it's so easy. <laughs> you want to go get coffee? Oh, so. I know a place that's open. It's my apartment. I have a <laughs> curing machine. You want to you wanna write together? Sorry, wrong group. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> same tactics. Same <laughs> people. Yeah. You want to go to the coffee shop? And, Shit. Uh, uh, right. No. Uh, talk about our day. Where do you go? Where do you go on a first date if you meet a girl at AA? Coffee is pretty standard. Standard. But you want to be interesting. So that's what Probably I'm saying. I know, a, I know a cool coffee back place. Back to her pussy, dude. Back to her tent, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel bad because I was like, the second time I went, the guy I went with, they have you get up and get a chip that says, I'll commit, if you're like a new guy, that yeah. like, I'll commit to 24 hours of being sober. And I yeah. told, I was like, I don't want to do it this time because like, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to be sober for a while, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back to like smoking weed at some point. Yeah. And then he was just like, it's not about that, dude. You just got to like tell other new people. It's to like make them feel good and more confident to get up and do it. So I got up and do it. You just get like a round of applause from everybody. Oh, yeah. I feel like such that a shame. So nice. mm. yeah. That's what you should go up there and like right before you get your chip, you just like say your jokes really quietly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, yeah. Oh, dude, that one's hitting. I should film a reel at the next day. <laughs> <Should. laughs> I could. Up there. I was never like paying attention to people's sob stories because I was too busy trying to prep my set in my yeah, head the yeah, whole yeah, time. What awesome. my like? Because I would share it every week. Like like yeah. Did you share while you were there? Um, Did you puss out, dude? No, they. When I went up to get the chip one time, I was just like, I'm gonna be 30 soon, and uh, <laughs> fucking doing yeah. drugs didn't help me in my 20s. So I figured I'll try this for a while, and yeah. everyone gave me an applause. Boom. But yeah, I, I just like. Uh, I literally am just going because one, I wanted to be sober for a little bit, cleaned out, and two, the guy I'm going with, I want to be friends with. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the only way I'll hang out with you. Well, it's just like you have these deep. Com- I feel like we're bonding over it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna have to like go behind us. I'm gonna be You're cheating on him basically. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? Nowhere. The no, library. Oh <laughs> man. Well, I hope you uh, find what you're looking for, Paul. Yeah. I love you. Like you're trying to impress them, then and like telling stories over what you did at the weekend. Yeah. And like, oh, dude, we went out. We were uh. for six hours. We sat in a bar and drank Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pool is great. That is the fun part of trying to be a sober comic is just being in a bar at, around drunk people every single night. Dude, that's what I when I said my health shit. I got down here and like, uh, yeah, I in Charleston you have like two nights a week when I was at a bar. Mm. So then I'm like, okay, and honestly, like four or five with like drinking whatever the hell. But uh, yeah, it's like uh, easier to fall into the excuse or like be like, oh, it's not that bad. And then down here it's like seven nights a week, and I'm like, oh, seven dude, I'm not drinking afternoons. that much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not drinking that much, and you're like, oh yeah, I had forty drinks this week. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> that's insane. Especially I was going vodka sodies when I first came down here. For anyone listening that's concerned about me, I have I don't have a problem. Uh, right, but actually being completely being completely sober at Mike's, I feel way more emboldened to just be like, I don't give a fuck about this. Fuck you, fuck you, you're gay. And I like that part of it. Because whenever I like smoke a lot of weed and go to mics, I'm always like, do these comics actually hate me? What do they think? And now I'm like, oh, they're all <laughs> either as funny as me or less funny than me for the most part. So yeah. why am I like this like psyched out by Just like... Just gotta go do your thing, baby. Yeah. That's really up. Get the reps in. Yeah, get stronger. Dude. Yeah, I watch Instagram. I uh, those <laughs> motivational videos. Reps. I, don't, I hate calling it reps. Well, you know, you know... Uh, Civilians, they don't really know how hard we work. <laughs> they don't know. Uh, they don't know about the life inside yeah. baseball here, guys. But yeah. uh, 
What's your process? We suck dude? a lot. What's your process? I would have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have no clue, man. You do DoorDash. I try. And you that's show up to a mic and do the same jokes you wrote two and a half years ago. Oh, you bastard. Yeah. That's my process, that's too. That's, it, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. I'm that figuring tonight. it out. I, uh, I'm going to do that at two mics tonight. <laughs> yeah, Buzzmill's the best because it's like, it's I'm going to be do, better at the third, right? I'm going to do new stuff. Then you get to Buzzmill's, 100 people there, and you're like, I think I'll I'll start with some of the hits. And then on stage, you're like, I'm going to close with the hits as well. <laughs> and that's your whole set. Well, let me middle with the hits because yeah. like, I don't want to have that lull. I'll put a relief picture in there. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to open our gift that we got sent to us? Let's see. Oh, you guys got a sponsor? Explain. We need, they are not sponsoring us. They did not pay me any money to do this. I got a sponsor. They paid for this backdrop right now. I'm yeah. sponsored by the Louvre, the museum. Are you? Yeah, and they sent me this shirt. You're a Louvre? Yeah. Louvre maneuver. I'm sponsored by Haynes. Uh, yeah, some company hit me up on Instagram and said, hey, we like your podcast and we'd like to send you some products. Uh, and OG brands. That's a bad business model. Just for you guys to know, OG brand. <laughs> yeah. It's in a, a Uline box. It's probably from uh, some sort of PPE <laughs> from COVID that they had left over. <laughs> I don't know. Uline makes a lot There's of. There's a certificate products. on the box. Is there? What is this box like? certificate? Oh, from Uline. It's not. Yeah, uh, no, fuck what the fuck is a box certificate? I don't know. Is that, that like a, a sturdy box? Is this that, this, this single wall has? box meets all construction requirements <laughs> of applicable freight classification. Box. That means it's a sturdy box. It's, it's certified for freight. Seven, eight times. Can you get a corset for a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> On the inside or? Pulling those strings really tight. Like a whoopee cushion, but then inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I need. It's like I can't sit too long because it's hard. Damn, you look like an R&B singer. It's about to go down. <laughs> yeah, I'm breaking right out. <laughs> I'm breaking out the mic stand that you left here, so I can do this unboxing. Shout out to Jake Lil for this mic stand. Was your friend Jake's mic stand? Well, I mean, friend is kind of a. I, he was my roommate for ten years, and we played in several bands together. But I wouldn't necessarily call him a friend. <laughs> I know what's inside the box, but I'm still excited. Like, there's going to be surprises. I have a vague idea of what's in. What what's if it's just tons of crickets? <laughs> <laughs> it's a prank. <laughs> it's just it's, it's from your AA friend, and it's like, fuck you. I know you're drinking. <laughs> it's just anthrax. Oh, oh, is that a leash? I need that. I need yeah, a. That's my nice. girlfriend's been looking Big for lander. a new leash. Hold, hold up. up. You got to hold these up to the camera and do the thing. Hold up, trap. Uh, 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 uh. I can't believe I said uh. I want that. We Can I have that? Swag, dog. OG brands. Can I have that? Uh, 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 uh. So this OG brands apparently makes blunt wraps, I guess. Can I have oh, that? Yeah. You want the lanyard? Yes, I want that's the lanyard. That's just OG. I'm a big dog. lanyard guy. I'm getting the t-shirt. I, uh, I think there's a t-shirt in here. Dude, this watch thing's freaking that's me out, dude. It's illegal inside of there. 25 think, packs huh? of rolling papers. Do you guys need rolling papers? I do. I'll take those. I'll right. take a... If I'll you take, don't, I'll, I'll take, take some. I'll take some. I'll give you a couple, yeah. Some. I'll take some for my CBD joints I've been smoking. <laughs> I'm going to start drinking O'Doul's and <laughs> smoking CBD joints on stage. What do you think about that? And <laughs> <laughs> I wish so much that you could smoke. Doug, are you a blunt guy? Yeah, I can do that, too. Um, dude, this is actually... Yo, OG brands. This sucks that I started stop smoking If you want to sponsor my DoorDash, dude. <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> All right, what else we got in there? Uh, let's that's see. a cone. That's a blunt cone. Cone, blunt cone. Is there three? No, one. Yeah, give him the cone for sure. That's bad. That's a wrap actually. right there. That's badass. Crush dark fronto leaf natural. Oh, is we that tobacco? Started with this. That's a crush fronto leaf. I want that. That's so gross. I think it's a crushed uh, tobacco leaf, possibly. I'm. A, I want this. This is a whole fronto leaf. I've never rolled with pipe these. tobacco. Oh, 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 pipe tobacco, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like Nick Mullen. I'm this gonna is just a, a whole fat ass leaf of tobacco. This is like a backwood, but like a. I think you like tear it apart and uh, you cut it up. It. So yeah. I can have the pipe tobacco. I'm gonna go buy a wooden pipe. There's, there's two. Dude, can we have all the things that are yours, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm gonna start smoking out of a pipe. Give me the. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping one of these. I was thinking about to smoke on a pipe on stage. No, I want to float no, around no. in a pool. Do we have like the pool in our apartment and just be on one of those floats? Nice just OG brand sticker with a uh, fedora. Pink flamingo. I'm not good on the sticker. Oh, this one's I'm not cool. gonna wrap them. That one's pretty cool, actually. All right, I'll take this. Do you want this too. one? Do you want this? Uh, put it on your laptop. I, dude. I'll put this on my water bottle. I kept one. Oh, OG, yeah. I'll put this on my water bottle right now, dude. Put, this up, put one on your lappy, Jesse. On my laptop, I don't have any stickers on my laptop. Well, now you do. Uh. Fronto premium cigar wraps, two exotic mango wraps, dude. Didn't you used to have a bit about stickers on your laptop? I don't believe so. I thought you did. It was like about tattoos and stickers on your laptop. Wasn't that you or is it someone else? It's not me. Oh. 
A lot of cigar wraps, dude. From. I'm actually. I don't need cigar wraps. That's all you. That's OG all. brands. All right, I can't get the back off the sticker right now, but. <laughs> Trust us, OG brands. We're gonna, We're gonna it. wrap it, dude. Front. Hey, that's actually dude. badass. And a T-shirt. I got a Bluntwoods. Uh, oh, there's another another sticker. Is that a is that a Ooh. bag? Ooh. Is that a bag or is that a shirt? That's a that looks like a. It should be a T-shirt. Looks like a tote. They asked bag. your size. They did ask my size. That better be a motherfucking T-shirt, dog. That's a man's size, but. Do you think it would feel good to wrap a blunt wrap around your penis? It would be spicy. Oh, okay. Like when you know when you lick them. Yeah, and it kind of gets uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that going. I'm this gonna is the second time I in my life weed. I've had blunts and t-shirt blunt t-shirts sent to me in the mail. <laughs> you guys remember Bluntville? You're the winger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, thank you, OG brands. I'm gonna buy a pipe and I'm gonna get hopelessly addicted to tobacco because of you. So. <laughs> Dude, thank you. So a, much. This seems like a high quality shirt. I kind of just want to open this up and see. No, that does. The stickers not, just show the tag. You can tell by the tag. Fashion That's, classic T-shirt. I'm gonna open this up and take a whiff of it. Exotic mango. That front though. I don't. I don't believe I've ever smoked a front though leaf. I'd start laughing if you just sliced your if mic I just cord over. Cut my wrist off. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, like the t-shirt made me high, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. All right, I'm going to get naked on the podcast. God, dude, Jesse has been waiting for this moment. I fucking hate skinny guys. Look how disgusting his body is. It is not great. Look, he has his. He removed his top two ribs like Marilyn Manson so he could suck his it's own like dick. He removed his sternum. Dick. Yeah. You, you fell asleep when you were a kid, and then they rubbed you awake. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know uh, Jackson Fagundes? You know that good? That sounds familiar. Yeah, 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 I do. That yeah. kid has the square set I've ever seen. He definitely fell asleep on the side, and they did not pick him up. <laughs> they just, like, a month on one side. Yeah. <laughs> dude, other. he's... Smell that shit. Just Ooh, it smells good. Off. It smells good. How's that feel? How does this... Uh, how's my t-shirt look? That's nice. Blunt woods. Let me smell this mango yeah. wrap. This is less of a podcast and more of hanging out. What we if, appreciate uh, everybody. This is this is just a hang. Dude. This is badass. People I had DM pre- me. They're like, I like your podcast because it feels like I'm just hanging with you and your friends. I'm like, because we're just hanging well, out. That's what I had pre-podcast anxiety. I checked out the things and I was like, boy, I better have fun. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're, going, uh, you're going home with a goodie bag of blood. <laughs> now, nah, dude, that's what you give me stuff. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I forgot I gave Paul that lanyard. Yeah, the, the lanyard is clutch. That's pretty dope. I look like I um, have like a pass to some type of convention about weed. <laughs> <laughs> OG Blunt Raps. Uh, yeah, that's what's her brand name? Uh, OG, OG Blunt Woods. OG Blunt Woods. How is OG oh. not already taken as a blunt I was going to say, that's very... OG Brands? I don't know. It seems like that would be one of the first blunt names. I'm sure they're not the only OG. Maybe they're the first OG. They're the OG OGs. Grown in the USA. Hell yeah, dude. Is this one too? I stand with Ukraine. You should you should roll up a blunt of the, that crushed tobacco or whatever that is. <laughs> you want to smoke a cigar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a, yeah, like a poorly, not good quality rolled cigar. Like, yeah, no matter how good you do, cigar. it would never compare to a machine doing How's this front to leave? They look pretty durable. Right. These are going to... I'm excited to smoke if, those. If you shoved a tobacco leaf in your ass, would you get any effect <laughs> of the nicotine? Did? Uh, definitely. Like, cause it goes if past you, the if blood. If you pour brain some of that crushed front the blood brain into your <laughs> you could you could put all your pills inside of this. Oh my god! <laughs> you may have just literally Pop invented that inside <laughs> your ass. That might you may have just invented a really cool like Bushwick hipster version. <laughs> it's <dude>. all Appalachian <laughs> yeah. guys that are at raves. <laughs> Fuck no. I might start smoking weed again if you roll up one of these frontos, these mango frontos. I don't. Know, you no, let me. I would go back home. There is no way then. Jesse would smoke weed in the podcast. He gets so fucking high. And I would get ripped right he, now. He start talking about how he had sex with his sister one time <laughs> this is wonderful uh quality that's really that was good shout out og brand send us some more shit sponsor us uh yeah. we'll we'll smoke a blunt on the podcast i'm gonna get my nose pierced with a nose ring and then i'm just gonna attach the lanyard to my nose <laughs> ring is that a cool look <laughs> that'd be dope and then the other side of your wallet yeah. um i want to roll this 
Yeah, you should have brought weed over. You were supposed yeah. to. Here's what we oh, should do. He should. Oh, you don't have weed. I was too excited about the bread. I have CBD. I have a <laughs> I was CBD so joint. Excited about the bread. Do you want to? You have smoke? CBD. You want to roll up a I'll CBD joint? I have a CBD block. joint that's too tight to smoke, so it'd be perfect to. All do right, you go break it up it. and then roll it into this. Yeah, let's do it. It's definitely. It's gonna be like so tight because you're know. supposed to use. Well, like it's a pretty fat joint. So let me. You guys talk while I look this. We can put tobacco in it too because we got that. That's what that's for, probably. Oh, for spliffs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That makes sense. Are you a spliff man? Um, nah, dude. They're too hard on me, dude. Tobacco, dude. We're American, bro. Is it? I just start talking shit on the company. I like tobacco. <laughs> is really just not. Uh, not sucks, my dude. jive. Uh, are these no. tobacco products? I didn't even check. This is a tobacco leaf. What are you talking about? That's what a fronto is. Uh, this product contains nicotine. I'm assuming it's... Yeah, that looks like a tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, what are you talking about, dude? I like the other thing. It said crushed tobacco. Oh, crushed fronto. It just crushed fronto, out. yeah. That's got to be... Crushed fronto is just um, their wrap, and then they chop up like their extra stuff. That's pretty good. I dig it, dude. Smells good. Paul's digging through his backpack right Paul's now. Paul's going like a uh, kid on Christmas. Did you... How many did you buy? Because you smoked like two today, didn't you? Okay. All right. Yeah, go grab it. We'll do a we'll do a little blunt demonstration on here. I'll see how good I am at actually. Are you good at rolling blunts, or are you more of a joint man? Uh, joints. I yeah. like how you like every time that you you're like, <laughs> whenever you ask, you're like, are you more of a uh, joint man or a uh, <laughs> a blunt man? Are you a uh, spliff man or? A <laughs> Oh, you're a bread man. Oh. Just trying to see what type of man you What's are. What's up, a French bread? I'm like, are you stepping to me, dog? You have all your. You want to go, dog? You more of a French man? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I, I forgot which direction. I know it's really important which direction that you roll because of the veins. Oh shit! Let me. But I don't remember which direction you're supposed to go. If we weren't taping this like episode this. on my phone, I would reach out to OG Brands right now and say, Call. "Is it is it veins in or veins out, dude?" <laughs> dude, <laughs> cut across the veins or. <laughs> With, uh, with the vein or against the vein? It's with the vein for attention. Yeah. Oh, that's rude. We shouldn't talk like that. Come on, dude. <laughs> I think if we got a scissor, we could cut this tiny and then make it so I don't deal with any vein at all. I got the box cutter. Yeah, that's me. I'll box cut it up. If table is holy, right? Yeah, there's a cardboard. There we go. Yeah, you could use the cardboard. Right. Cut, cut this out. Hold on. Let me, I was going to say, get that stand over here. We're going to make this work. It's going to be a full... Breaking down, dude. All right, fuck yeah. Wait. <laughs> let me take. So, uh, let me turn this a little bit. Get that weight, that counterbalance. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. So uh, for everybody that's following at home, when you get your OG brand blunt woods, <laughs> open them up <laughs> and find it, and you see we have this vein going through here. Now it's totally fine. You can roll. OG Bluntwoods would never send a product. It's a good product. That's what I'm saying. Also, I don't know what I'm talking about. Shout out OG Brands, Bluntwoods. Are they going to give you money at some point? Uh, this is, I don't know. Well, do they give you a promo code or anything? Or they no. Just, they were like, yo, we love the podcast. Probably a lie. Uh, we want to send you some stuff. It turned some... out to be true. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have 85 YouTube subscribers. Do you want me to be your sugar mama? 475 Instagram. We have no like following or like traction at all. That's good though. So if they did sponsor us, they're like, yeah, for every thousand plays, we'll give you so much money. We've never hit a thousand plays on anything. (laughs) Can you send uh, 15 cents, OG Bluntwoods? Yeah, the CPM on this is one penny. Well, fuck the CCP, dude. Yeah, dude. You guys ready to smoke a tobacco pipe, tobacco and CBD spliff? <laughs> don't <laughs> yeah, don't spliff it. We have to get. You kicked. have to spliff it. I don't have enough for a blunt. This is the most Austin thing. <laughs> hey, John, you want some papers? You got 25 packs of papers right here, bro. Your papers, man. Hey, you? you seem like a guy who smoked tobacco from a pipe before. Do you want to teach me how to do it? <laughs> Hold on, John's not on my. You just smoke pipe. You know how, like, a, you know, the y- a so young John's gay man, they get a mentor when they're like fourteen, like an older gay man to teach them. I want you to do that, but for a pipe tobacco. 
man. What? You know how young, like a four, 14 year old gay man, they'll get like a 40 year old gay man to teach them how to have gay sex? That's what com. That's like pretty much every gay man does that. Pretty much everyone. <laughs> well, every gay man has a 40 year old gay man to teach them how to have sex. That's how I learned. Yeah. How'd you guys learn? A woman taught me. Oh. Uh, have you heard of pedophilia OCD? <laughs> I've I I don't think I've I've heard both of those things, <laughs> but, not but I don't think together like <laughs> well, like I'm sorry I got to stroke this kid off three <laughs> times. <laughs> you know, six, six. You know. Oh shit, that's good, uh, dude. Uh, no, it's a thing where guys are convinced like. It, it, do I want to fuck kids? They're so I gotta, scared. I got to lick this kid's asshole They're counterclockwise. Scared. They know? think like <laughs> they they think that they might be a pedophile. They're not even a pedophile, but they're so scared that they might be. And that's like this crazy. OCD if I don't there. shut off this light switch, they'll see my face and be able to report me to the authorities. Yo, I, this I was trying to think of a pedophile. I think that OCD only pedophiles bit. have that disease, though. I don't think <laughs> yeah, there's I'm, any real guy, like regular guys out there that are like. Yeah, no, dude. I just, I love. Pussy, I mean, I think but. that you're like. <laughs> can I? I wanted to do a pedophilia OCD bit, but you thought of the funniest thing, which is stroke this kid three times. Can I do that on stage? Yeah, absolutely. I was, <laughs> I would say like put two or three more things. in I there. I will. Like, That's funny. That's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, like three a, times with his finger in his butt. Yeah. You know. After I turn, after I fuck a kid, I gotta turn a light switch on and off four times. It's instead or, of flipping a light switch, he's just flipping his dick. His or else, his, <laughs> or else his parents will find out. Hey, what did you guys? What did your parents call penises when you were kids? Wang unit schlong. My my mom called it. Your my you'd be like he's cleaning his. Mine unit. was tallywhacker. Tallywhacker. That's a real and Charleston, South Carolina type way to refer I, to a penis. I uh, I said it at school yeah. one day. Something about my tallywhacker, and the kids made fun of me. And I went home and I yelled at my parents. I was like, you said it was a tallywhacker. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a penis. That's great. I, my uh, my parents called it just penis. You know, they're pretty straightforward about it. My uncle called it lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird of him, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to go smoke this cigarette, but I'll come hang out with y'all here in a minute. His All, right. And All right, cool. We're going to go out there. We're going to smoke a CBD and pipe tobacco spliff. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not sure how to open this up to make it look cool because there's like a like a die cut of it. Ain't no rest for the wicked. I want to display it properly. Ah, there it is. Oh, wow! Man, you should just like sell that. these on the podcast to the <laughs> guests. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep them out for the, for the guests. Yeah, that's good. That's actually badass. Hell yeah, dude! What does that OG stand for? Uh, overtly gay. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Hey, what's only OG stand for? Only giving away their products and not <laughs> selling anything, you fucking idiots. I wish we had a good editor because it'd be so funny to see, as you said that sentence, every word appear. Only giving away their products and not <laughs> selling them, you fucking idiots. Dude, you got the green screen, dude. You can do that. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put a missing Ben Basanga poster back here. because we have, <laughs> Dude, oh yeah, let's talk about Ben. No, I was going to put you on a Charleston, South Carolina uh, carriage tour. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to put him in a Charleston, South Carolina plantation. I'll do, I could do that too. 1650. You guys, you guys seen. Uh, <laughs> I have a big smile on my face. <laughs> uh, have you seen uh, Action Bronson watches Ancient Aliens with friends? Uh, yeah. No, but I would like to. That's what it's like uh, pretty much this. Dude, uh, Ben's back in the whole game and he missed the podcast. Here you go, Johnny. Here's some papers for you. Some OG unbleached papers, dude. King size. Unbleached, unlike your asshole, which is very bleached. I love that I'm like the straightest gay you know, but you still assume my asshole's bleached. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You wait. Shave your legs in the bathtub. So, so bleaching, even within the gay community, bleaching your asshole is a gay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's, that's interesting. Just extra gay. Yeah. That's like, oh, he bleaches his asshole. Whew, man, that's this guy. Dude, I almost thought I didn't have my hat on. I got scared because my hair looks so stupid right now. Right now, take your hat off. That was more of like a thing I could have kept to myself, probably. Yeah. No nah, shit, sure, man. People want to know. Like five minutes, my uh, bald spots all over, dude. <laughs> I'll try to green you got a bald that spot? Out. Oh, you drive a make? I'll, he drives I'll a. He's a coupe kid, I think. He's not coupe gang. Oh, who's no, who's no, got no. that really nice coupe out there? Those fucking ridiculously nice mini. I can't nicest roll. mini. Coupe I'm pretty sure it's a pair of lesbians. Roll. You can't roll those a blunt? No, nah, dude. OG you're brands, you're so letting so down OG brands, dude. I, I just Let's go get a green game. You're dude. fronting on that front, though. Yo, one time. There's a green screen in 
Dude, check it out. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, dude. That shit's pearl. Do you want to? Yeah. Do? Can you roll up the one of the papers? Throw throw him a paper, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> dude. I like that. My fucking friend's dad. One time we got it because we used to get green games, purple games. You're familiar. Uh-uh. You know, Ga- green Ga- game blunts. Garcia Vega game blunts. Oh uh, no! Holy yeah. shit! How many papers do they give you? Dude, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> they think you're a store. Do they? Are they under the assumption you're a pot store? We need to send some of these papers to the Mexican comedians around here. So I don't know they don't what they were deported. thinking, but they definitely made it on to <laughs> most of this podcast now. Hey, so. Well, I'll tell you what, if if you get back on that Adderall, grab a handful of those, you can probably trade them to that guy for a bunch of them. Uh, I don't think that guy's in the trading game. He seems to be a cash-only type affair with him. Like, hey, do you want well, actually, I've only been known to be a giveaway rest. kind of a guy. Like, I asked him if I could do Venmo one time. He just sent me a thumbs-down emoji. <laughs> you know who I'm going to hook up with the frontal leaves? Gareth. Gareth Fisk. He's a blunt guy. Okay. Big blunt man. Gareth? Yo, what's up, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, Paul? Yo, I fucking love you, dude. Dude, Yo, Jesse, thanks for the blunts, man. Yo, man, those fu- those blunts, dude. Do you remember those blunts you get? He always is trying to remind <laughs> me of shit. I'm like, you're the dude that forgets things. I remember <laughs> you're the one's fucked up all the time. Sounds like it. Well, who's that again? Gareth Fisk. Shout out Gareth Fisk. Hey, yeah, sure Gareth. Yo, you, you, you come up late to my show, dude. I take the show seriously. Anyway, I'm on four grams of mushrooms. I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go host it. But it's fucked up that you were here, dude. <laughs> He's like, yo, where were you guys? So like, where were you guys? You said you'd go first on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was at an open mic. You skipped my show for an open mic? Yeah, That's you're fucked on mushrooms, up. Dude. Anyway, here's a tab of acid, all right? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> um, so one time my we got Green Game Blunts. You're familiar with Green Games? No. Oh, it's a blunt wrap or whatever. Do you know the, the company Garcia Vega? How did you guys not know Green? I, I, thought I don't. I'm not a blunt guy. White blunts grape? waste marijuana. It's just a, it's in there. It's burning. It's blunts going up. Yeah, yeah but you look blunts cool as hell. Smoking. I mean, okay, so not joints that I roll though, because whenever yeah. I roll a joint, I roll a spliff, but only by the most literal definition. I roll the f- front eighty percent of it with one hundred percent weed, and the last twenty percent of it with one hundred percent tobacco. Mm. That way, wherever you throw it out, it's it's all it's all tobacco. So you get two hundred percent high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. We're doing drug math. Well, we left a blunt. It's all CBD wrapped. We left a blunt wrapped in my friend's basement, and then we went to CVS to get Arizona iced tea. When we came back, and his dad was sitting in the recliner, just smoking the shitty tobacco out of the blunt wrap. Just not. You you break it, and you you fucking just smoked it down to the nub, and we were just like, "Ew, dude, what the fuck?" You just smoked the. Just smoked the yeah, like it was a cigar. It was like a two dollar fucking white grape blunt wrap. Like, what do you kids think about that, <laughs> dude? I was like, I think I need to graduate high school for sure now because this is not going well for you. Uh, this is a story about how cool I am. Shout out to Mr. Fuqua, dude. Kyle is just the pod. People hit me up, being like, "Why aren't you on the podcast anymore?" Because you need to create story arcs, dude, to yeah. get interest in the pod. This episode is now going to fucking shoot to the top. But if I had like, been here, oh shit, Paul Cyphers is back. He's an AA. He's pretending he's an AA. <laughs> <laughs> but after a month or two episodes, right back in the toilet. So that, yeah. It's like on Scrubs. They'd have a guy for like, Brendan Fraser would be for like two episodes in a season. Because right. they, if Brendan Fraser was in the whole series, no one gives a fuck. But if so, he shows up. I got a question for you three. Have, yeah. have any of you three ever thought about shaving your arms? No. Because, I, I mean, you guys I are was, furry as fuck. We're all, we're all brothers, kid, dude. We're all, the, we're all the same version. We got the same, the same exact same arm. Dude. Look at that. Dude, did we just become best friends? Look at that. <laughs> that is, that's frightening. I, uh, when I was a little kid, I uh, would shave my arm with my mom's razor because I said I was uh, preparing to shave my beard. How'd that, how'd that work for you? Uh, my parents got really mad at me for shaving. <laughs> you were pre- preparing to shave the woman that you were using to pretend you weren't gay? That's uh, what a beard is. Yeah, See what he did? I, yeah, yeah, I actually, when I was Twitch streaming, trying to become a pro Counter-Strike uh, player, the hair on my arm burned off. pro what, what player? A pro Counter-Strike uh, player. I was you using, CS, CSGO kid? Yeah, CSGO. I was fucking going to my mouse pad all the time. I had the giant mouse pad. And I realized, my girlfriend was like, why don't you have any hair on the, this part of your arm? My whole bottom side of my arm was, all the hair was gone. Because it had fried off from me doing this so much on my mouse pad. My balls are the same way. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. From man. rubbing them on Paul's mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing on just like every time. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Every time you leave, he's the fucking... Uh, what do you gotta say? It's good stuff. It's soft. It was a soft pad. 
You guys, you guys are fun, lonely mans. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'd invite you to sit you down. I'd invite you to sit down, but you I already didn't frame uh, the shot. Positioned the. Oh yeah, no, I like being the the. the I mean, you're God not on Mike. the camera anyway, so. Yeah, which is good. You're kind yeah. of the producer of the podcast right now. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah. you're in the back. You can just, why don't you pull up? Uh, sit back there and laugh really loud while we. <laughs> you got any dick pics in your phone? Can we look at them? Not you. Other people. Yes and yes. You guys want to review? And you got to send them, and we, we got a green screen. We've yeah. already oh, yeah. we've already done this bit with John. He oh. opened up Grinder, and then as soon as he got a message, it would just be a dick pic. <laughs> That's I sick. worked with a gay guy, That's and neat. he sat next to me, and then he'd show me pictures. He's like, "Look out for this guy. He it says that he's thirty eight feet away." And I'd have to like sit there and start like looking around, and he'd be like, "This is what he looks like," and then I'd be like, "Okay, it's a picture Browner. of you." And then he'd go, "And this is his dick." And then yeah. <laughs> You know, um, picture of you. <laughs> about a month and a half, two months ago, I got cat dicked. Yeah. Where the yeah. fucking the dick wasn't the dick that he sent me. I showed up and it was a different dick. Is that the guy that broke your glasses? The same guy. Yeah, it was fucked. That was a fucked fucking up story. What a loser that guy was. I You're hope he dies. Deep at that point. Literally. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he wasn't. He's too that was deep the, at that point. No, nah, he he'd been doing meth all day, so he didn't have a fully erect dick. He was like pushing rope. It was bad. I've heard meth makes your dick really big. On uh, your mom's house, they have that clip, and that guy goes, "I swear to God, man, you should take three hits of meth, and you're fucking your dicks like oh, this." Coming for Who is it? Yeah. That <laughs> bad guy from the Hannibal Lecter movie in the wheelchair? Is that who this well, was? It's Bane. It's Bane. Oh, <laughs> listen, you were born in the mouth. <laughs> Dude, he gave Bane meth. I rise. Oh, I wasn't Santa sober chance, until dude. I was already a man. Superheroes on meth would be crazy. Uh, Isn't Bane on some sort of drugs? Aren't they being like pumped into him? I don't even know. I mean, what the there's whole different mask iterations of. Mask. What if of Batman Bane. just put fentanyl in like the liquid that he goes into him? So Bane was like, oh, no. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Isn't Ra's al Ghul, doesn't he give people drugs and shit? I mean, if he's cool. No Raza Joffrey? I don't know. Yeah, does, <laughs> he gave me a Raza Joffrey <laughs> drug women and have sex with <laughs> Who's Rafa Johnson? Uh, Raza Joffrey? You know Reza? Local, uh, local, Raza? Local Raza, R A Z A. Let's all talk over each other at the same time. We're so all saying his dumb. name wrong, and if he sees this, he's going to fucking hate us so much. Well, you also just said that he's sexually assaulted. Oh, <laughs> well, whatever. That's true. Come yeah. on. Reza Draft is what uh, I Remember, call. just hate everyone you see on camera, and of course, me. My name is Christopher Reese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hit some milestones in comedy this year. You know, like I want to, uh, I want to yeah. be a Kill Tony regular. I want to headline a club. I want to get my first rape allegation. You know, just all the things. All that, the big, the big three. That when comedians are really starting to shoot off. Well, you got to be a minority or something for the Kill Tony thing. You got to. Yeah. And I got to go back in time to get my first rape allegation. Out. Am I right? Yeah, come on now. Yeah, dude. We're having a um, local uh, Kill Tony rapist, Hans Kim, on the podcast next week. So that should be exciting. Was that your water bottle? Yeah. Dope. It went straight R3. through. Kill Tony. Ra- that sounds like he to raped over. Tony. Oh, that's perfect. What's that? Kill Tony rapist. Kill Tony rapist. <laughs> Hans Kim. He spit roasted Tony, Tony Hinchcliffe rapist. with David Lucas. Yeah, Somebody dude. Raped Tony. Yo, shout out to uh, David Lucas. Really. You think re- that he's going to appreciate the shout out? No, <laughs> but I I just think he's really funny. And I sometimes go on the Reddit and people think he's not funny. And I think those people that's suck. That's crazy. I know. Or, uh, you know what? I bet all those people have in common. They're not funny. That's true. Oh. And they're all white, for sure. Oh, yeah. 100%. They're all white dudes, and they all belong to some sort of militia. They're all white no, dudes. Or they white women. Lives Matter on their uh, profile pictures. Yeah. Bro. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of uppity oh. white women. Does dude, everyone here stand that. with Ukraine before we go any further in this podcast? Of course, dude. If you guys don't stand what? with Ukraine. What are we doing? Do you stand with Ukraine? Of I don't give a shit. Get the fuck off our I don't right give now. a shit. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's all right. I'm going to just go ahead and mute. Yeah, John's we don't we don't, we don't take that type of bullshit out of this podcast, dude. Where you? <laughs> this whole podcast is gonna be Ukrainian flag in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I want the beautiful uh, wheat fields below us and the gorgeous blue skies <laughs> above. Yeah, look Just at that. Wave. Everyone knows Ukraine's one of the most beautiful countries in the area that Ukraine resides in. It's what, <laughs> it's more know. beautiful than Hungary, is what I'm trying to say. It's a shithole country. I. It's in the Crimean <laughs> Peninsula. All right, just so you know. All right. I work, I work with a Hungarian. Hey, <laughs> Ukrainian river, more like Crimea river. Hey. Like Crimea. My, my whole thing with the, with the whole Ukraine thing is <laughs> it's the exact muted. same as 
<laughs> no, I'm not. Am I uh, it's, it's the exact same thing as the Iraq and us thing, okay? Whenever we did that, we you know were the what good they were guys. Doing? Yeah, Russia's yeah. the good guys. Yep. And we got here. these bastards that are trying to make terror. Where we and we got to go take care of it. And we need the, to kill every man, woman, and child that lives there to really take it Russia's over. Russia's taking over yeah. <laughs> the war I on mean, terror. Now you're speaking my language. Uh, all the I'm Alaska saying fruity. is that as soon as you open your mouth and That's start being term. like and talking shit about Russia, you got to open up your mouth and talk shit about the U.S. as well because it's the exact uh, same uh, thing. All right, all right. John, Get the fuck out of here. I think that we're dope podcast. as fuck, dude. <laughs> Look, man, this hippie If you're not a patriot bullshit. and if you don't stand with Ukraine. Now he's going to smash all the, all the lights <laughs> This podcast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he spit Dude, on a Vietnam soldier one time when he was a kid. So <laughs> every single homeless person. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that Doug's uh, based in Red Pill. Happy to have you on the podcast. But I'm he, a big QAnon guy. He didn't spit on a. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're deep in the. I'm like I'm deep down the, the rabbit hole, dude. <laughs> J- uh, JFK is coming back, baby. I saw a girl who had a tattoo girl. today. It was JFK, but his head was half off. No was a ta- yes, dude. I was like, fuck yeah. This girl, she works at the head shop next that's to my crazy. house. That's funny. And I was like, is that, J- is is that JFK? And she was like, yeah, it is. And I was like, that's so sick. She's like, I was born. And then she just said like, well, I was born in Dallas. So yeah, I was like, nothing. Well, what? <laughs> Doug, what's going on on the, uh, oh man, you don't even want to know. With the dude, drop, you don't with have the few drops right now. Dude. Come on, dude. <laughs> hey, is the Tell magic me. bullet, uh, you know, the magic bullet theory? Yeah. Is that yeah. also the name of that little blender you can buy? Yeah. It's also the name of uh, the vibrator thing. Are they related? Oh, yeah. All this three is of all, them. This all three is, of them. This is all playing to some <laughs> bigger plan. All, yeah. <laughs> all three of them get you like, ah! The magic bullet theory is that someone just shoved his head into a magic bullet while he was all driving. Just like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> How can I make an omelet in only three easy presses? <laughs> you put them all together, dude. It creates a triangle, bro. <laughs> Illuminati, the three bullets together. We solved it. It's Lyndon B. My Johnson. Did you ever see that <laughs> YouTube video of uh, the baby bullet? But like they like put it in half speed. It's like the baby bullet. What? <laughs> It's a it's a magic bullet blender, but it's the the mini version. Oh the baby no, I haven't seen that. But yeah. there's slower <laughs> It's so creepy. Have dude. you seen the video of the baby covered in peanut butter? Yeah, <laughs> that's a great Back. video. Yeah, pause this podcast. <laughs> YouTube. Put it, hey, put it back here. Right. Baby covered in peanut butter. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so adorable. Yeah. I got some editing to do this. Have week. you <laughs> seen Have you seen uh, Breakfast? No, breakfast no. breakfast <laughs> yeah i've seen that one. <laughs> what a, are yo, you doing yo you know that guy's uh kill tony regular now actually <laughs> 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 Woo! In, inside jokes baby Come local on, reference boom <laughs> quack I want you to spend 37 hours editing this video. <laughs> I want right there to a baseball coming in frame. Oh, I do not know how to what do is, that. What There's is no the way. the guy the guy's been on Kill Tony from Canada? His Instagram is one. What's who his stutters, name again? One who stuttered. Jared Nathan. You got to get Jared, Jared Nathan. Nathan on the podcast. Dude. He's you get a coming back pop. in June, I think. Yeah, you got to get him on. You dude. get a big pop. You get him over here. Yeah, yeah. I and I want to talk to him. But I sure. want to be off camera for that podcast. I don't need to be involved. You just want to be. I want to be. I just want to be eating. He's You bring some bread over. And we'll just eat bread Sit and there. watch the podcast. We should have had some fucking wine, dude. Dude, you should get a crowd Legionist gang style in your apartment. That'd be pretty sick, show. actually. So I can play to somebody. You can get OG brands. <laughs> bring some people. Yeah, dude, OG brands. Get the squad together, bro. <laughs> they just they just did a. I saw on their Instagram they did a Polo G concert. Get Polo G over my house, OG brands. If you just we actually rolled, shouldn't burn the only bridge with a company. <laughs> if you just rolled like three blunts, four blunts, and then just invited like guys that weren't That's comedians really. over, they probably would just come over, and bring a girl. Hang Smoke out. weed and drink. Right. And bullshit. Yeah. You could charge people to come in here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey. I'm live a, podcast. I'm going to lie to everyone tonight that my podcast got sponsored. You know what? Thank you, OG Brands. I'm just going to tell people you sponsor us. OG. And I'm just going to hand out papers. Let's get ready for the thumbnail. I'm going to hand out. Yeah. So where in the world is Ben Basunga right now is what I need to know. I'm going to hand out papers. So Ben was out of the hoe game. He was like, I'm not fucking with hoes for about three and a half days. Right. And now I th- we think Ben's he's out. fucking hoes again. I think Ben's knee deep in the hoe game. And he's missing he's, entirely. He's We're either dead or he's hoed up right now. Hoes. He's yeah. like Carmen San Diego. You know how she was chasing. What, what, why was Carmen San Diego always going around the world? What she was, was she stealing. Um, Wasn't it to art? teach you math? 
she was stealing she, art? She was stealing like the seven wonders of the world. She's like okay. would take the pyramid. And so Ben's trying to steal the virginity of many teenage college women, and uh, no, he's also in the MILF game too, I believe. He's in whatever game. Ben, yeah. go, ben goes down the Pornhub categories. Like you know, you check them off which ones you like on Pornhub. Yeah. Ben has almost That's all of them list. checked <laughs> out. <laughs> he goes over the transgender, the drop down menu though, and he only goes female. There's like a drop down menu on on Pornhub. There's for, MTF. For the tr- yeah. So no, there's not only, but it's like w- real woman. With trans <laughs> Yeah. What? OG Hold B- up. OG Brands does not. OG Brands does not sponsor. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to say, dude? Um. Uh. Born. Born to be. Born. Um. Born to be. Have the wrong thought about your gender. Whoa. Born to be trans. I think they're born that way. Oh man, born I'm progressive. I think trans people are born, born retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. One. What? No, I don't know. He's you like sweating. Trans people? I like the chick on uh, Euphoria. Um, yeah, sh- you should trans. get her. On yeah, the pod. I like trans people. That sounded like I didn't like trans people when I said that. I, I, oh, I work. I work. Do with I the like? Trans. Do I like talking to them, associating with them? I, tr- I treat them like any other person. Well, one cool, side cool. of me, I'm a Gemini, so one side I'm right wing and I, I fucking can't stand them, but I'm also, the other side you're very I, fetish, I fetishize them, the other side I don't want to have sex with them. So, so you're conservative on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like the prime. Like, get him out of here. <laughs> all like the trans violence stats, that's like every dude. It's a guy who's just like, I fucking yeah. hate trans people, but I want to have sex with them, so I must violently <laughs> hurt them. <laughs> It's not. It's so funny. Or like, <laughs> imagine that guy just struggling with it. Some shit talking shit. That's, that's terrible. That's dude. Shit part of like shit. the euphoria plot line. That's dude. so terrible, dude. Is that really? Yeah. Well, we just talked about uh, talk with crazy. John Rice, like you know, the whole gay dudes will, like suck a straight guy's dick. I'd yeah. be so scared to do that because like right after they come, there must be some straight dudes like oh, I'm that gay. post not clarity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <just kidding>. After <laughs> you jerk off and then you're like, oh dude, you what like the a hell? panic attack? Yeah, that's you really have, scary. Like, a dude blow you and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, no violence is bad. Sexual violence is especially funny. bad. <laughs> it's oh, okay, shit. Sure. No, what? No. <laughs> it's just not a good. I do a uh, sexual tourism violence where I go to Thailand oh, and I beat the yeah. fuck out of people or dude, you're are beating up them. You're t- you're right up Doug's alley right now, dude. Sex That's tourism? What I was going to say I went I went I've been to Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam for sex uh, tourism? No, I wish. I w- honestly did not well i kind of knew about that but i didn't know that it was like did uh, you partake at all i i didn't no i didn't i was uh like long distance dating some chick when i was over there so then i was like oh, oh no i'm not she told me at one point she's like you're you should do it like, yeah you're there. <laughs> and that's i wish i got like a hand job at least but when your girlfriend tells you you can do it though it takes away it's all a big old the test. fun yeah, yeah, yeah but also it's a big old test yeah. it's a big old hey shit test i heard know. some of those ladies over there have big old tests <laughs> more than me <laughs> dude yeah the ladies over there, they'll uh, like you'll walk down the street and they'll come up and just grab you by the crotch and be like, "Hello, come with me, come along." Yeah, I want to massage you. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty great. And you're like, "No, I got a girlfriend." She's that like, was a like, no. I uh, I, I really, I think that this is uh, endangering you. I think that you're uh, subjugated by this. I like how you went with <laughs> like, the come most. Come on, pussy boy, let me make you come. <laughs> you, you're going with the most like ambiguous Asian accent. So you, well, it's not that's racist. It it's Thailand. That's it, what. That is. That's it's Thai pretty, hooker accent. It's pretty ambiguous. That's ambigu- that shows that you're racist because that was a perfect Thai hooker. Accent. <laughs> yeah, you think every Asian, Asian sounds the same? Sounds like a Thai hooker. Can yeah. we get a Thai hooker on the green screen back here? <laughs> Nice, dude. Ka, uh, <laughs> kap <kung> ka. <laughs> That's actually how you say hello and thank you. See, I, I would want like a, uh, you know, like the Mongol, like Russian, the, like uh, Eastern Russian when they start to look Asian. That's like my sort of what I'm into for hookers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know the Red Scare, Dasha? So you stand yeah. with, you stand with Russia? Her. I stand for Russia. I stand with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. Want to lay <laughs> under Russia, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get subbed out now. You know, I started the game and I feel like I had a pretty good performance, but I, I feel fatigued now. So you I'm, killed. I'm just gonna sit on the bench and watch you guys take this one. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Uh, this is when I checked the clock and we have <laughs> tw- 12 minutes left. Oh, okay. Hell That's yeah, we good. can make that. I thought we were gonna burn a lot I'm more time sorry. with OG Brands, but uh, we burned a ton of time. 12 OG minutes Brands is, great. is fun. Yeah. Doing an hour on a podcast is so. I need to quit hard. smoking weed. Is really just a thing. I have no energy ever. I'm uh, almost 24 hours off the vape. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, honestly, dude, I've been sitting here vaping, and I've been like, why the fuck hasn't Jesse hit his vape yet, dude? Do you, do you, usually, that thing never leaves my hand. Every time people go to like, dap me up, I fist bump them because I'm holding the vape. I never yeah, let it go. Lot, so. I'm 24 hours off the vape. I, uh, I was, a, you're not wearing bathing ape clothing yeah. anymore? Yeah. <laughs> only wear <laughs> 2006, <laughs> soldier boy? I only wear this one I bought from the Louvre. Uh, Paul and I made a deal if... If I don't vape anymore, he won't do Adderall anymore. Or weed. How much Adderall do you do? I mean, on the Patreon. You get into it. Will we talk about it? I don't know who. Or, is there a Patreon <laughs> episode after? This? I don't do any now. I'm over. We it. We could Honestly. do a Patreon episode. No, actually, I, I want to get. I ben fully and Holly conquered my demons. Well, you know it's tax season, so I had to run it. I had to do. Yeah, to do it. Dude, more. Christy Vera literally said yesterday. She's like, I got I got to do an Adderall and do my taxes. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say this to her. I was like, Christy, what income do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you you stole French fries from the bags for DoorDash. What fucking income are you reporting right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, dude. <laughs> it's mean, but it's like I I, I wasn't even gonna do my my income was like 20 like literally like 210 dollars how do you put year? staying at someone's house for two weeks on your taxes? <laughs> <laughs> living in, living under the stairs at somebody's house do you have to report venmo transactions now is that what it is they do yeah, do you have to report do. drink tickets on your taxes yeah. <laughs> how much is that how much are the, is the deductions on that all right i uh deduce that uh not smoking weed is boring. My, <laughs> I, so I made a bunch of money on Dogecoin uh, in 2020. Sure so when I was doing taxes, uh, my tax guy was like really like hitting me on like, hey, be careful, you know, like be all good on your taxes. And he kept on like, dude, your comedy, you can really use that and you can write off a whole bunch of stuff and da 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 like really. And then tax season came around 2021 and he's like, all right, send me your files. And I was like, I, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you expect of me, man? Like that's how. Did you report that Doge? You don't have to say if you did or not. No, <laughs> I uh, I didn't report my XRP. Year, I don't know. They I, fucked me this year. I didn't report Coinbase, but Robinhood. I did. I think. I saw a Tesla drive by me. Actually, it cut me off. I almost T-boned it, but uh, it was just a Tesla, and across the side was a wrap, and it was just said Dogecoin or like Hello Dogemobile, dog. I think it's yeah. like. And I was like, he drove by. I didn't see who was driving it. I was like, it could have been Elon Musk. The man. He it might just have by. one of his Teslas. With the, the it was man. a huge wrap with two huge Doge dogs, and it the just said Dogemobile. It, was, was, it looked really nice. So too. on the subreddit, like right when it busted up, everybody was posting stuff on there. There was guys that were just like buying billboards. There was a guy that bought uh, an ad in, Wall, in uh, Times Square with his Dogecoin <laughs> money that just said, hey, buy Doge. And uh, a bunch of guys were posting like Lamborghinis. I almost, dude, I would have made $700,000 on Dogecoin. But I fucking, uh, or I'm sorry, I had 700,000 Dogecoin as a joke and it cost me like 250 bucks, not mm -hmm. even. I had it and then I had it for like two years because I was just like putting money and I was like, oh, whatever. And then, uh, like six months or something before it, I sold like three quarters of my Dogecoin. Um, so I made like a good amount of money, but, uh, yeah, no, I would have been, I would never work. Again. You sound like the captain of a high school football team that tore his ACL. I'd be like, I would have been in the fucking yeah, league, dude, bro. I would have been in the league. Dude, we were right there, man. <laughs> me and Reddit, uh, me and Wall Street bets. We were, uh, <laughs> our name was in lights. Did you get Bet into City. Game, GameStop? I did have GameStop too. Yeah, I was all over Wall Street bets and all that bullshit before they blew up. Before yeah, the yeah. I lost a lot of money before it was cool. <laughs> I lost a lot of money and then I gained a little bit and then I mm. lost it all again. I made a bunch of money by accident because I uh, I opened up really. a knife on Counter Strike because you can open up like the items. Yeah. So I got like a nine hundred dollar knife on Counter Strike and then I sold it. But one of the only ways to cash it out and this is before I cared about crypto was Ethereum and Bitcoin and Ethereum was faster to get. And then I, so I got Ethereum, but then never took it out of the wallet for some reason, even though it was like faster. Yeah. And then my friend Pedro texted me. He's like, yo, do you have Ethereum? While we were here visiting in Austin. Yeah. And he was like, dude, it just went through the roof. I looked and it was like three grand. And uh, I was like, triple my money. And I was like, uh, I'm just taking this out right now. Uh, mm. yeah. And if I left it in the same thing, I would have made a little more money. But I remember just yeah. being like, I, I not only lucked into this, but it was like, yeah. I would have just taken that's cash. A nice, that's nice. That's nice. have a little knife. Yeah. yeah. So. It was good. And then I had a gambling addiction for skins on Counter-Strike, and I probably am in the negative. I, I've heard, like, the whole market on that. I'm really... There's a there's a guy that did price fixing on YouTube. 
and he bought every single uh it was like a potato emoji that mm-hmm. you could get and he bought every single one of them that was on the market and then sold them for like three times the, it was selling for like 15 cents and he had like the price was up to like five dollars yeah it's like on counter-strike people like you can get a skin listed for like eight cents and buy like a thousand of them and then like a year later you check and they're worth like 16 cents so you just slowly list like four of them a day That's and nice. then over the course of like a month or two you just like triple your money or whatever but the thing is sometimes you're just left holding this worthless it's item a NFT, right. like a yeah. <laughs> i don't know I bought, well, none of the world crypto. makes sense no i bought crypto at its peak and i'm down like half the money so it's tough you're a retard, keep it dude. i so the thing yeah, that got me it. the thing that got me on crypto and this is a dumbass way to be into crypto but there was like some documentary on amazon and then uh at like the end of it one of like the creators of ethereum was like uh said hey this weekend, don't go out. Just save your money. He was Brazilian. Does it sound Brazilian? <laughs> don't go out. Save your money. It sounds like a Thai hooker. Yeah, it sounds like a Thai hooker. <laughs> you have All one accent. Accents, right? <laughs> this is a guy from Boston. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Do you week- want a hand job? <laughs> um, but uh, well, yeah, he said save your money for like one weekend, put it into cryptocurrency, and he's like, and then save it for 10 years. And he goes, if this goes to what I think it's going to be, uh, or he goes, if uh, it doesn't, if it busts and it's nothing, then, you know, big deal. You're out a hundred bucks or whatever the hell. If it goes to what I think it's going to be, I want you to name your grandchildren after me. Damn. And I was like, God damn. Yeah, I still have. Uh, you don't get to name your grandchildren, though. Well, you can pressure your kids into you it. You tell them. I still have up. like 200 you bucks. Buy, you can buy new yeah. grandkids. if you, well, that'd be good That's point. it. You just adopt. I yeah. still have like 200 bucks in it from uh I cashed out my poker earnings like Golden a hamster. few weeks ago, and then I left some of it in there. I wanna, I wish I wanna online gamble and be a bad motherfucker. Dude, I fucking was doing so good, but then it's like you start to do the math. Like I would, I would cash big or whatever, but I started the math. I'm like, I'm making like thirteen dollars an hour because yeah. <laughs> I'm playing so fucking much. Yeah, you know? and it's like I would rather work at McDonald's. This gets really depressing oh. just sitting here. Or do Uber you seen Eats to make twenty five yeah. bucks an hour? Yeah, yeah. that's what you all. Yeah, think I love you're rounders. Round. My my older brother rounders. is a professional poker player, yeah. so I know a lot about the it. same people show up to. Yeah, is yeah. he coming to Austin soon? No, he just uh, knocked out his He just got his, his legs leg. broken in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He, <laughs> so he, he ain't going anywhere. He's bro. dead. <laughs> He's sitting in a stairwell somewhere. He's right actually now. buried in a hole <laughs> in the desert. Uh, no, he just, uh, I believe that his wife, I shouldn't have said knocked up about this. <laughs> I, I believe that his wife actually just had her legs. Okay. <laughs> How many times can she's I say uh, that joke? She's pregnant. So I and think his fetus's legs, they're, <laughs> they're selling the baby to pay off his debts. <laughs> I mean, that baby would be worth a lot. It's a white Asian baby. So. <laughs> half white, half Asian. Half white yeah. Asian is like the top of the Doug, market. What would that baby sound like? <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> do you want to play poker? <laughs> He's a that's dinner. only if it became an Asian hooker, Thai Asian <laughs> yeah, hooker. Thai, Thai Asian hooker baby. That's not a general Asian accent. That's Thai crazy. hooker is when Thai Nguyen decides to suck dick. <laughs> 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 I hate it because like Thai hooka, I barely know her. I know I, I like want to do like a Thai, <laughs> like just an accent that's Thai because it's funny the way he talks. But yeah. it, but if you say it to anyone that doesn't know who he is, it's like the most racist you accent you've shit. ever heard. I was thinking about this recently, like cancel culture stuff. Uh, I think that like one word that like we have to die on the hill for, that like if they take this word. Then that's the like, N word. That's the Alamo. They have to, that one's already. That was like the first defense. That was the first wall, <laughs> yeah. and they went right over the Alamo or right over that wall. They're like, we're inside like that gunshot. If they start taking away faggot, if you and faggot's already faggot's pretty, already taken. It's already pretty much gone. But you still like gays back. If you're around, uh, yeah, you can call stuff gay again. Dude, but like, faggot's if you're, not good. Like it's only certain. I thought it was more of a northeast thing, but uh, like being out here with non comedians. Yeah. Like I said the word faggot around my friend's girlfriend and she was like, that's because he says faggot all the time because he's from Boston. Yeah. He's like that. You guys say that. Most of the country doesn't say that. No. Somebody <laughs> said retard <laughs> and then someone was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Call, oh, call it well, that, I use right? retard. I well, to be fair. I say half a retard. So <laughs> my my uh, half, half a fag, <laughs> half a fag, <laughs> half, you can a fag say half, retard. half a new. Uh, <laughs> I have, I'm half you can get away with it. Half, half. Fa- I'm half fag, half retard. <laughs> All, all wigger. All Thai hooker. Yeah, all wigger. the Northeast, like that's that shit's commonplace up there. But like in you the comedy scenes, faggot. they'll yeah. be like, whoa, 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 whoa. But the, like, at the like open mic, like down southerner here. guys, like that's what I'm saying. Like I was like working with guys, and like some other guy like said retard or something, and the guy's like, whoa, hey, watch it with that. And it's like, why? It's because <laughs> dudes from the south are like polite. Yeah, you're so right they were there. quicker. But hey, there might be a lady nearby. 
dudes from Boston are just like constantly like right. they want to say the most hurtful thing to you when they want to yeah. hurt you, and yeah. they they really don't have. And the only reason they don't say the big one is because uh, they've seen enough people just get stiffened up and knocked out <laughs> that they're like, all right, well, that's I fair. saw old Marky over there. You yeah. got fucking beat up the other day. Yo, speaking of Vietnamese people and Markies, Marky Mark Wahlberg. You oh, ever yeah. heard of him? Uh, hate crime. I was talking to a Vietnamese comic in Houston, and I was like, dude. You asked him how he felt about this like, yeah. 30-year-old crime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, we talked about it for a little bit. I'm sure he didn't appreciate it, but I thought it was. I'm sure he didn't appreciate <laughs> it, but I learned a lot. Yeah, I don't think he was even a comic. It was just a Vietnamese guy walking by me. In fact, I think he might have been Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's been the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what? Woo! You gotta end it on a pop, goddamn it, dude. What the hell? I, Doug, right. thanks for hanging out. Thanks for rolling a joint up, bro. We're gonna go blaze this CBD We're gonna on blaze the porch. the CBD right. joint, go to the buzz mill. Like, oh. I got this new bit I'm working on called... Uh, what time is buzz mill? Sweet? Men are fags, women are retards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes men be like, hey! <laughs> and women be like, <laughs> 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 All right, there's the pop. <laughs> All right, bye.